wherever you are, you have to do what's best for you. This is your fucking life. And if you want the dick, come and get it. You know? It's that simple. It's like walking through the park. The breeze. Simple, right? Nothing complicated about it. At least that's how the saying goes. And for those in authority in the United States Space Force, it'll be like as simple as jumping on a, hopping inside of a jet, taking off, and entering the no oxygen. Atmosphere in space because you know how there's no oxygen up there. It's that easy, right? Like a breeze, but the breeze from the AC units, AC unit, since there's no breeze up there. Yeah. From the AC unit. Inside of the jet. Like I know. Whoever's up there is not just like driving jets everywhere. Back and forth. Like, what is it? What else is going on up there? What fun activities is there to do up there or there? Wherever the United States Space Force is. You know? And everyone knows my story. So I don't need to try to convince anyone. You know? I'm an open fucking book. I'm like the fucking dictionary. Study it. Absorb it. Read it. Abuse it or not. It's up to you. Whoever you is. Whoever you are, because the last time I've been told, I heard there's eight billion people on Earth. Or in our galaxy, I should say. Because just the Earth in our world, in Earth, doesn't even sound educated anymore. That sounds like uneducated. Because it leaves the people out of the Earth, it excludes them, you know? So it's like saying everyone in earth except those that are out of it. And that's not a, that's not even what I mean. So I should be saying, yeah, in our galaxy. And I think it's the Milky Way. But if I'm wrong, then I still need to learn, you know, what galaxy we're in and stuff like that. (sighs) 
And then I hear that there's like 300 people that have been selected to be a part of the United States Space Force out of the 3 million people in the United States of America, approximately 300 million. So that's only like 1% out of the United States population. That's crazy, right? That's pretty awesome, honestly. Anyways, so I was thinking about, you know, people that with millions and billions of dollars. Like, I would love to have 10% of your money. You know, so it's like someone out there has a million dollars, a hundred thousand, like nothing to me. A billion, one billion equals to, ooh, well, if I deduct the dollar, that'll be like a bunch of nines. So I think it'll equal to one million. No, that that'll be yeah, one million. No, that'll be like a hundred million. Then it will go to one million, right? So it'll be like a hundred million. Oh shit. Fuck. What the fuck? Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. I just brain fucked myself. I went to space. I came back to Earth. Thinking about a lot of money. With little to no money. It's like, what the fuck is really going on in this bitch? I don't even know if I'm acting or if, if I'm just being myself anymore. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Am I acting or am I not acting? It's scary. No, it's not scary. No, it's not scary at all. I'm just being myself. You know, fuck it. I guess for once in the life, in my lifetime, I'm being myself. I can be myself. I don't, I don't have to worry about people like criticizing me. And threatening my life. Even though no one ever actually did. I think, I think I was like mentally incarcerated, mentally defeated as well by God. It was like a mental battle that I went through. You know, it was like, um, You know, when people go to war and then they come back, they could be like traumatized. Well, maybe it, that could be the case with me. Like, maybe there's some form of mental abuse that I underwent. You know, because people don't come back from war and fucking brag about it. Like, bro, you don't know the shit, half the shit we're fucking doing in war. Like, you know how people do that when they come out of prison? Yeah. I just came out after doing like so much time and not even want to act like them. So pathetic. Oh, 
oh, and we did this and that, and I did this and that. And they, they're just like self snitching, you know? It's like, don't even self snitch on yourself, buddy. Just keep it all to yourself. No one cares. Just go get a job and pretend like you're still in prison. It's either that or you go back to prison and you make no money and you don't get to live out here with the rest of society. So what are you going to do? Live with a man inside of a cell for the rest of your motherfucking life? Or do what the fuck you got to do Bite your tongue. Be a bitch if you have to. Whatever the fuck that means these days. I mean, since, you know, same sex, same sex marriage has been approved and legalized. So I don't know what people mean by that. Act like a bitch if you want to. The fuck does that even mean? What the fuck's the, what the fuck is the definition of that shit? Like, can we get some clarification? Like, I mean, like, if someone's trying to piss you off on purpose, you just like bite your tongue. This is as a figure of speech. You just like try not to let it get to you where it, where it could potentially lead you back to where the fuck you came from. Prison. Like, fuck all that shit. It just surprises me, though. How there's, like, no websites out there. You know, to, like, meet and fuck. Like, I could picture myself. Like, living in the fucking... In the middle of nowhere. In the fucking off grid, if I had the money, you know, at least some to live, like live out there, or if I knew how to survive and shit. And then the United States Space Force Wonder Woman just comes to my rescue once in a while. And I go on her ship. And she takes off with my seed. As she drops some seed off for me. So I could. Farm. Grow my own food. And live happily ever after. Oh my God. Praise the Lord. See. A man doesn't want a lot in this life. He just wants an ordinary simple life. Praise the Lord for that. I love the United States of America. The land of the free. The land of the brave. God-fearing men of God. Courageous. Respectful gentlemen and women.
even even to those that are confused about their gender or not but to some people they're definitely confused but that not their definition of confused nope they're certain without a shadow of a doubt like, are you sure about that? You really believe that you being a born male with a fucking penis, that you're a female, that you're a woman, and you over there, a woman born with a vagina and a clitoris, you really believe <laughs> that you're a male I don't even know how that's funny I I just thought it was funny for a second because I thought other people thought it was funny but maybe I was mistaken and I apologize for that but since that's just what goes around these days and what people laugh about and talk about. I just decided to throw that out there. But yeah, God and everyone considers everyone to be brave. That was my point. Going back to my point. Going back to my point. I don't even know what else is going on in the world. <laughs> like, what the, like, what the fuck's next? You know, like, fucking... Fuck. The United States Pacific Coast Guard under the water. Type of shit. Okay, I killed it. I killed it. I went way too far there, right? Off bounds. Like, personally, no. No, not personally. <laughs> Typically, there's a borderline, right? After so many feet. In the ocean. No, from... The United States. Or any country's. Shoreline. After so many feet. It's like no man's territory, right? From what I heard. And those laws change. That's where they take all the females to fuck them. There's no laws over here, baby girl. <laughs> like the fucking Grand Theft Auto type of shit. The game. Oh, I love that game. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> Do a little bit of cheat code and the fucking airplane drops. Jump on that motherfucker and just fly wherever you want. But now there's codes. You can just fucking spawn. <laughs> you can just like click anywhere in the motherfucking map and you're there. Like what the fuck? That shit's awesome. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know like I was following this one dude. On on Instagram. And he had like fucking. 20 fucking virgins. And he was fucking them all. Big motherfucker too. Swole. I don't know what the fuck he does for a living. But I'm fucking still jealous to this day. I think about him all the time. Like what the fuck. I 
I wish I was him waking up and you know inside that boat or yacht or excuse me you don't want me to call your fucking yacht a boat you know don't sue me for calling for not knowing the differences maybe it's not even a fucking yacht maybe it's a fucking cruise fucking ship I don't know what the fuck it's called it's like calling a fucking a Ferrari a fucking nineteen eighties fucking Honda car. <laughs> like I, I wouldn't fucking know. I'm not around the motherfucking ocean to know this shit, man. Like what the fuck? Anyways, my friend, he's a solid Christian, believes in God, fears God with all his heart. He's like 55 or 63. He's single. He wants to marry a woman. He has his FFA license. So, ladies... If you know anyone that's single, that's a solid Christian, or that that can at least play it off, you know, just to get married with my friend Ken, at least, and then once you know you guys get married, you guys can have sex and all that shit, according to his rules, and the book. The Bible. <sighs> but anyway. We need, we need, we both need some help here. You know, him being 63 or 62 and me being 30, living at his fucking house for over fucking seven years. This year, I'm going to turn 31 years old. Yeah, and then when I'm 32, I think it'll be like 10 years since I've been living with him. Fuck. If the world didn't have access to the internet, people would probably think we're like fucking together or some shit. They would probably think we're like legally fucking married by now. Like my parents. My parents, they've been together for over 25 years. 25 years they've been together. And they never got married, but they're legally married by law. That, that's fucking... It's crazy, right? Anyway, <sighs> this fucking life, I swear. But I believe God's going to bring, you know, better years. God's going to bring more, more work my way. Like, I'm really looking forward to that, you know, for... 10 hours at $30 an hour I'm making 100 bucks 100 hours at $30 I'm making 3000 at 1000 hours I'm making 30000 That's a whole lot of fucking hours just standing up as a flagger 
traffic control. That's fucking crazy. A hundred thousand hours for three million. I mean, is that even worth it? A hundred thousand hours. Wait. Yeah, for three million dollars. Right? Or is that three dollars an hour? A hundred thousand. I swear, I just make myself crack up. I'm fucking too slow for this shit. Because I'm hearing myself speak like, what the fuck? Okay, I need the calculator. Someone just bust it out real quick. Okay, so it's 100,000 hours. I think for 30,000. No, 30 million. That's why I don't even... That's why I don't even have that type of money. I'm so fucking slow when it comes to this shit. Damn, that's sad. Fuck. Anyways. Like they say, you know. When you want, when you really want to know someone and meet someone. You have to just do your due diligence. And. You know, like, I think I'm on the right path. I just need someone to, like, come and save me. I need that Wonder Woman to just come and adopt me. Because I'm too slow for all this shit, obviously. I mean, I'm 31. I'm about to be 31. I'm 30. But in July of this year, 2021, I'll be 31. So, I'm clearly just too slow for all this shit, right? I mean, people are making... People have their own house at 20. Like, what the fuck happened to me? Oh, yeah. World. I got arrested. Remember. Remember my testimony. I mean, I feel sorry for my brother. I did five years, four months. He did fucking 10 years. And that motherfucker... And we were both kids. He was 16 years old. I was one year older than him. Ain't that a bitch? And they even made him do extra time. So he had to fucking... Well, the court, the judge kicked him out of prison. And... He got paid for every dollar additional that he did in prison. That's sad, right? And then me not having no money, I never got to spend time with him. I never got to take him out to eat, to to do shit. I didn't have any money. But surprisingly, he had his own apartment right away. But that was because of his girlfriend. I'm assuming. (sighs) But. I don't even know what the fuck to do anymore. I'm just waiting. I'm on call. I mean, I don't know what the fuck the local 185 is doing over here in Redding, California, Shasta County. I I have no idea. You know, and all these other um, subcontractors, they want to enroll in their program. I mean... It's having a, it's having a, either a positive or negative, negative effect upon the local union. 
one of many, right? Obviously. And here it is, like, in case you guys want to see some proof. Bam. Justice, honor, strength. My calendar. My Luna. Justice, honor, strength. Since 1929. Local 185. Northern California. And this is the t-shirt they blessed me with. And I made it into a... Like a flag. Kind of like my... My like my Nike sign. I just didn't wave it. I didn't wave it on the corner, but I can. I could throw it up on that corner. But see how I did that? Maybe I should. Maybe I should. That would be super cool. That would, because they're both orange. So one right there. The Nike one. And then the other one. But it won't be the Nike. It will be the Luna shirt. Damn. I think that's a great idea. I think I should do it. Oh, yeah. And then this is the company I'm working for right now. Big Bad. Look at that. Like nothing. Like it's everything or nothing. Anyways, so here goes another hour of me just rambling off. Um <sighs> anyway, so I pray. That God will bless all of you and um, protect all of you. That his angels would watch over all of you, protect all of you. And I, I don't even believe in angels anymore. I believe angels are like the United States Space Force and all the other countries who are like involved and a part of like their own space force 